Don't fuck with Dr. Phil, motherfuckers. How's it going, everybody? Dragast here, and welcome to Mountain Blade with Fire and Sword. I am playing an old game, and damn, does that feel good. I, I'm always scared when I go back to games that are definitely a little older. I think this one came out in 2011, but I have been itching to play a Mountain Blade game again, and I've never actually played with Fire and Sword. I played some of the earlier ones. Uh, very fun series, by the way. Probably one of my favorite series. And yeah, I figured it'd be a good time to try out Mountain Blade with Fire and Sword. Now, I will say ahead of time, I'm not going to be doing a full playthrough of this. It's just too long of a game. I've seen people put like 500, 600 hours into one playthrough of this game. It basically is never ending because there is no end goal to this game. It's basically an open world kingdom simulator. So with that being said, my major goal for this series is to take over a castle, siege a castle and call it my own. When we do that, I will consider this series complete, uh, but depending on how much you guys like it, we might go on, uh, um, we might end this earlier too, I don't know, I just want to play a little bit and have some fun, so I hope you guys enjoy it as well. So yeah, this is a bit of an older game, some of the visuals are not the best as you can see by this screen right here, but the gameplay is just perfect, I love Mountain Blade, so damn fun. Uh, so we're in our character creation right now, I'm going to up my strength and agility, uh, because I do want to mostly focus on, uh, hopefully, sword combat. Uh, now the skills I'm going to take a little bit more time on, but the proficiencies, uh, again, I want to do swords, I also want to do firearms as well though, because that's really where this game shines, a lot of the older games, I don't, I don't think any of the older games have had firearms, so I definitely do want to do some of that as well. Uh, and with skills, I don't really know where to go from this. So we got the combat skills up here, and then we got the useful skills. I'm gonna focus, I think, more on useful skills. So like pathfinding, for example, uh, your party's map speed is increased by 3% per skill. That actually doesn't sound too well. Tactics, every two levels of this skill increases starting battle advantage by one. Okay, that sounds very important, so I'm gonna do two in that. Uh, we still have four skill points. I think I'm gonna do some first aid type things, so let's check this out. Uh, for each skill, the heroes regain 5% of their hit points lost during a mission. Uh, okay, that sounds good. 5% isn't too much, but it is a party skill, so once you get the bigger parties, obviously that's going to be a very useful skill. We also got looting. This increases the amount of loot obtained by 10% per, per skill. I do plan on looting, ransacking villages and whatnot, so we are going to grab that. Tracking. Tracks become more informative. Yes, I do. Actually, we already got one into that, so I'm not going to do that. What's wound treatment? It's another party thing. Healing speed is increased by 20% per level of this skill. That sounds really fucking useful. So we're going to do that as well. And what's surgery? Each point of this skill gives a 4% chance that a mortally struck party member will be wounded rather than killed. Again, probably not very useful early on, but later on once I get, you know, a 200 man army or so, I think that's going to be extremely useful. So we're going to do that as well. Uh, so it looks like everything's good. Now I'm going to name my hero Dr. Phil because I just want to make Dr. Phil to be honest and I got to assume you can at least I hope you can All right, so Dr. Phil's kind of got a little square head So we do got a bunch of sliders here So we're gonna have some fun with these things and uh, do my best to make good old Dr. Phil Holy shit those cheeks just made it for me. Dr. Phil's got those cute little pudgy cheeks and that is it's, it's, it's honestly scaring me how accurate this is looking to Dr. Phil. I'm seriously impressed. His hair it's kind of gray but it's not so much so I wonder if I could age him a little bit and yeah kind of get that little bit of gray in there. Perfect. Now I think he's got more lighter hair though so let's try uh, hair color and see if we can oh it's actually really hard to tell but it's looking like yeah, about that should be good, I guess. Actually, I'm gonna age him up a bit more. I feel like he's got mostly gray these days. He's, he's, he's getting up there in age, but there we go. That's not too bad. All right, there we go. Dr. Phil in Mountain Blade. You gotta say, the resemblance is uncanny. Looks great. Uh, your travels have taken you to a small Cossack village on the outskirts of the wilderness. As you stroll past, the silence is broken by gunshots. See what trouble is afoot. Now, I think this is the tutorial, so I'll quickly go through this. Uh, I do know how to play it. Oh yeah, this is definitely a tutorial. Alright, this group of adventurers seems to be expecting company, and here is the company that just randomly teleported in. So I guess we gotta help these guys out. Now, where this game truly shines, obviously, just let me say, if you've never seen a Mountain Blade game before, it looks freaking awful, but the gameplay is just the creme de la creme. Once we get into that, it's gonna be good. Look, we got Jock here. Jock de Clermont. 
Thank you for aiding us. An extra arm is always welcome in times such as these. Well, I, I gotta be honest with you, Jock. I have two arms, not just one. It was my honor to aid you, Dr. <laughs> oh my god, he's even got a little suit on. It's great. Come, let's find some horses and ride away before more of these scoundrels appear. I agree. You know, this game's called Mountain Blade for good reason. The mounted combat is perfect. All right, we got a new toy to try, ladies and gentlemen. The pistol. There we go. All right, grab yourself a horse. They're, they all look exactly the same. Okay, I know how to fucking ride a horse, you stupid game. Okay, god damn it. Okay, I, I, I hate tutorials sometimes because I know... I mean, it's pretty obvious how to how to mount a freaking horse. What are these guys doing? Are they just staring into the sunset? Okay, come on, guys. Let's go. Okay, we're riding off into the sunset on my beautiful new steed, guys. I love how we just stole this horse. No big deal. Oh, more enemies. Okay. Well, I guess tutorial's not done yet. We gotta learn mounted combat, right? Alright. Well, you shut up and let me fight my way out. That would be great. Okay, I'm gonna stop here and... Boop! Oh, fucking missed. Okay, g give me an hour to reload. You guys just keep fighting over there. I'm just gonna reload. Oh, nice. You killed him. Good job, buddy. Okay, this guy right here, he's going down. Going down. How? How the fuck? All right, you know what? Clearly, clearly the pistols are so inaccurate in this game. Switch from your pistol. There we go. Okay, this guy he looks like he's going to swing at me, you bastard. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Okay, I, I, I didn't even help there. I don't, okay. I don't even know what that said. I missed it. I was, I was holding the button to swipe, and I missed what he said. Uh, after defeating the final enemy, you return to talk with your new ally. Oh, is it Jock? Hey, Jock, how's it going? My name is Jocks de Clermont. I know, because it says it right here. I can see that you are surely no brigand. Come and unsaddle your steed and rest yourself by the fire. The supper is nigh ready. All right. Uh, my name is Dr. Phil. How did you find yourself in these lands, sir? Where are you headed? Uh, I am the Clermonts of... Oh my god, that's, death. that's too much reading. I am of the Clermonts of Long Dark. Uh, our line descends from the famed crusader, the Count Simon de Clermont. But unlike my magnificent ancestor... I have neither great titles nor vast lands. I served in the guard of Cardinal Mazarin, and I was doing well for myself. But then the devil made me his fool, and I challenged a certain D.R. Tagon, lieutenant of the Royal Musketeers, to duel. Fully knowing my skill with a saber and pistol alike are guileful, Gascon thought to avoid the risk and convince the queen that I secretly planned an attempt on the life of the young Louis. Thus, in the night on the Duel's Eve, I was forced to flee Paris, and now I am doomed to wander the fields of Europe. Oh, well, that's kind of depressing. I'm sorry to hear that. What would you advise me to do from here, though? These are troubled times, and a, a mercenary, especially one that has known command, is worth his weight in gold. Start with small jobs, I would say. Take your time uh, to get accustomed and understand the local affairs. Wipe out some bandits, do some freelance jobs, escort a merchant, convoy, or protect a village. After that, you might try enlisting with one of the rulers. You'll earn a reward, maybe even get yourself an estate. Which, by turns, would also bring you some coin. Once you gather some loyal warriors and earn a name for yourself, you might lay siege to a stronghold, throw your backing behind a claimant to the throne, or even start a rebellion yourself. I like the idea of the bottom one. Um, well, it was a pleasure to meet you. Uh, I recommend you set path to Zamenshai and take in the town. And Solomusk is a fine city and not that far from here. All right, so here we go. We're actually in the game now, and this is what I remember. This feels good. Got some bandits over. Oh, deserters. Hmm, I wonder if I can recruit them. I, are, are they going to be aggressive? I mean, they are deserters, but uh, I think I'm going to go. I, I'm going to go ha have a little gander at what's going on here. We are free, and from now we will fight only for ourselves. Now, give us your. Oh, okay. I, th I thought. I thought. I thought bandits were the bad guys, and deserters were just uh, you know deserters. I will pay those who deserve payment. Uh, there's no need to fight. I am ready to pay. Fuck. God damn it. I'm two seconds into the game and I already get fucked over. Okay, this guy's got some good gear on. I don't want to fuck with him because I don't think I have any gear. All right, here's a hundred thaler. God damn it. Losing my money already because I think I can, you know, be nice to people. Nope, that is not the case. Medieval times are a big struggle, guys. So I am just going to uh, leave that zone. And he told me to go to this place, actually. So let's go over to Zamoshai. See if we can recruit some people or do a job or something. Okay, we can recruit volunteers. We have three scythe welders volunteer to follow you. 30,000, that sounds decent. We're going to do that. Also, talk to the elder, see if anything's going on here. Good day, sir, and welcome to Zamoshai. I'm the elder of this village. Uh, I want to buy some supplies. I will buy your food supplies. I want to buy some cattle. I've changed my mind. I don't need to buy anything. What what do I use cattle for? Uh, we have seven heads of cattle for 171,000. On second thought, no. I, do, I, I don't... I think I can eat the cattle. You can, like, slaughter it later on. 
Uh, but I don't need that right now. Uh, let's go see what the peasants are selling, though. I can take hostile action if I want to. Uh, we currently have food, so all they are selling is food. So I am done with this place. We've recruited a couple people. We got- we're, we're four people strong right now. At least I feel a little bit more safe. Alright, and I'm gonna visit this castle really quickly and see if we can recruit anybody here. Uh, request entry into the fortress. Request a meeting with someone. No, I want to enter the fort a fortress. Uh, allow my party inside. Okay. So, I remember the taverns are good places for recruitment, so let's see what's going on in here. We got a traveler, and then we got a mercenary marksman. Uh, I do want a good marksman. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, dude. Uh, I, at least I didn't hit him. Uh, do you have any need for mercenaries, sir? Me and three of my mates are looking for a fam commander. We'll join you for 140 dollars That's a lot of fucking money, but they are mercenaries. They are trained, so you know what? I think I'll accept that. Uh, can I buy an ale or something, too? Good day, my dear sir. How can I help you? I think it's about time I leave now. Okay, well, I guess I'm not gonna get a beer, am I? You, by, by, by the way, you're missing a cup over here. Can I go into the back for a good time? No? Okay, I, I guess we're just gonna have to leave. Actually, let's talk to this traveler real quick before we go. Uh, somehow I feel you are the kind of man who would do well to know me, sir. I travel much and keep an open ear. I can provide you with information that you might find useful for a small price, of course. Of course it's a small price. Um, no, I'm not looking for anybody right now. I'm not on a quest or anything, so yeah, I'm just not gonna do that. Alright, well, I found nothing really of interest in this desolate town, so we are going to leave, and I'm gonna go look for some bandits or something. We we, we, we have a pretty strong army now. Uh, eight strong. I gotta assume I'll be able to take a, a little bit of a bandit colony, though. Alright, I have spotted a mercenary camp. This is where you can, you guessed it, hire mercenaries. So, find the mercenary captain, talk to the captain. I wanna hire some soldiers. Uh, definitely do want some more horses, so I can hire one for 92 thousand. That sounds... Decent for uh, for a, a, a mountain soldier. Also, infantry, let's see, uh, we can hire three for 132. I think we're going to do that as well. I've spent most of my money now, I think. Uh, so we are going to leave. Yeah, let me actually see. I'm, okay, I, I have six thaler to my name now. That is not good. But we do have a pretty strong little army now. So, ooh, I could actually get those scouts if I wanted to. If I wanted to piss off a nation, I could. Now, uh, I didn't really explain that, but you can see the different colors of these... Uh, Kingdoms as well as villages, those are different nations or armies. So, they do remember what you do, you don't want to screw around with them too much unless you want to screw around with them, I mean, it's totally optional. For right now, I'm gonna be rather peaceful, I'm looking for bandits, I want to get some of that dirty loot, if you, if you will. And pretty much pay the iron price for any of my gear, I'm hoping anyways. Oh, there we go. Speaking of the- speak of the devil, you're not gonna be able to run away from me, bitch, I got a horse! Oh yeah, there you go. Oh wait, it's getting nighttime. They might be able to get away. Nope, there we go. I can smell the fat purse a mile away. Methinks you could do with some lightning, eh? Gotta be honest, Bandit, you made a pretty epic rhyme, but I actually came to you and you were running away, so I don't know why you're trying to act strong now. I'll give you nothing but cold steel, you scum. Now, I think it's nighttime, so we might be, uh... Oh, yeah, we're fighting throughout the night. Okay, so this is where this game really shines. You haven't really seen this yet. Uh, basically... You fight people in kind of like a first-person view of being the commander, so it's really fun because you can get up to like 300 people, I think, and once there's 300 people fighting all at once, it's it's really crazy. Uh, anyways, we, we got we got some uh, dirty little bandits over here. It looks like they're coming up now. Oh, they actually have guns. I, I better be a little bit careful. I'll hit this guy right here. Bam, motherfucker! That's what you get! All right, here we go, here we go. Sliced! Oh, there we go, one down. Holy shit, there's a lot of them here, though. They all have fucking guns. That's dangerous for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of the way. Uh, hopefully, most of my team should be able to get them. And I'm gonna try and swipe in. There, there, there's a little dirty pistol welder over here. If I can slice him down. Huh, there you go! <laughs> God damn it! How did you survive a freaking sword to the head? Come on, now. Here, there! Oh, wow, he actually blocked it! You crazy motherfucker! Don't block this one, bitch! There you go! Now you're down, and BAM! <laughs> I just trampled him! Dr. Phil, don't fuck around, bitch! There you go! Oh, yes! That feels good. Do we have any left? Uh, is it, this is a bad guy? Yes, it is. There we go. Slice him up a little bit. Helping you out, buddy. Alright, we have a dirty little runner. You're not gonna get away, bitch. I'm gonna try and shoot this guy down if I can. Alright, give me five hours to reload. We got two runners, actually. I'm gonna slow down here. And aim up, and bam! Seriously, this is the most inaccurate gun ever. I mean, I guess that's accurate. This is this is way back in the day. But, uh, come on, come on. Come on, get lucky. Here we go. Bam! Right in the back! And where's this other bandit? I think if they get to the edge of the map, they get away. So, random lucky shot, maybe? Oh, that was just off him! And he did get away, after all. 
Uh, I think we won though, right? Yep, yeah, battle one and press tab to leave. Now we get our loot, and that's exactly what I wanted because we don't have very good loot right now. Uh, tattered broadcloth. Oh man, these guys don't have any armor at all. Plus one to leg armor. Well, I got plus two to leg armor right now. Uh, looks like these. Plus one to body armor. Plus one to leg armor. Again, same as mine, unfortunately. So none of this looks really that interesting. I guess I can wear a hat. Plus two to head armor, so that's an upgrade at least. So there we go. Dr. Phil's rocking a hat now. We also got some simple lances and whatnot. We'll, we'll grab these for our um, soldiers and see if we can upgrade them at all as well. We also got bullets, so that's going to be very useful, uh, actually, because I use most of my bullets. Uh, bludgeon, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll just grab everything. We, we, we can sell everything anyways. And yeah, that's what we're going to have to be doing a lot at the start, is killing bandits and whatnot, uh, looting them, and selling their uh, wares. Okay, but there we go, and we also got, uh, your party gains 13 moral, we got 86 Thaler from them as well. Now, if we go to party, yes, okay, so we can, uh, pretty much upgrade anyone. Upgrade to Musket Militiaman. Oh, that's really cool, I didn't know you could upgrade their units as well. Uh, class of troop, can I actually change their gear, though? One ready to be upgraded, so I guess, uh... Uh, do I want to do pikemen? Yeah, I'll do a pikeman, so we'll do that. I keep forgetting we have lots of upgrades here, so, uh, one ready to be upgraded. Upgraded to Muscovite Mercenary Infantryman, so there we go. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have, do we're just gonna have pretty much a bunch of random units in our army. We're not gonna have actual, um, like, squads of certain units, because it's too early on. I can't afford to buy the best, so, uh, yeah. I know there's a way, oh, I think I gotta talk to him. And maybe, uh, there we go. We can go into its proficiencies. But I can't go into its inventory? Okay, well, I guess, I, I think there's a way to do it. I'm just not sure how. Regardless, this gear is pretty bad, so we're just gonna go sell it anyways. And I'll figure out how to do that hopefully later on. Maybe it's in character? No, that's my character. Alright, good old Tula. Let's approach gates, request entry into the forest, request a meeting with someone. Yeah, we want entry. Uh, and I want to sell. Go to the marketplace. Trade with the horse merchant, armor merchant, arms merchant. Um, I'm thinking armor merchant might be the best idea here because we do have a bunch of... I, I guess you would call it armor sell for 11. Okay, so yeah. That's not bad, actually, for how crappy this stuff is. Uh, decently priced stuff, so yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna sell him all the armor. Uh, I gotta assume he'll give me the best price for armor-like things, and then hit done. There we go, 116. Now we gotta go to the arms merchant, and there we go. Now we got some weapons to sell. Uh, how much is this worth? Sell price 16. So yeah, we're. I mean, it's, it's gonna be hard early on. We're not gonna earn too much money, but uh, I guess it's better than nothing. So there we go. Uh, he's got a lot of money, 2,300. I'm, I'm liking the look of this bent bow, too. Maybe I should move over to the bow, because this friggin' pistol sucks. Uh, may, ooh, how much is this? 3,300. We don't have anywhere near that yet. So I'm not even gonna look at weapons until we get some actual money. So we got a little bit of money now. Actually, I should go and, uh, see if we can recruit any more people. So let's do that really quickly. Uh, go to the tavern. Let's see if anybody's in here. Looks like we got another traveler. And a mercenary marksman once again! So it usually doesn't happen where they're, they're exactly the same. There's usually different people in there. Me and four of my mates are looking for a fan commander. We'll join you for 175. That sounds good for five good soldiers, especially marksmen. So, uh, that's good. Alright, let's get out of here and go look for some more bandits. Oh yeah, there we go. We got looters! Yeah, you are you are gonna get away, man. You need to you need to really buy some horses if you if you do want to get away quickly. Uh, because these guys, uh, maybe in the woods, they're a bit quicker than me, but uh, they're not gonna make it there. And again, they're 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 being aggressive to me. You are obviously running away from me, so yes. Uh, hey, you don't scare me. You best be ready to taste steel, motherfucker, and lead too, because I got guns. Damn it! All right, so here we go. Looks like they got a decently sized team. Wow, they're already shooting. What the fuck? If you can hit from that far away, that is seriously impressive, guys. Oh, wow, you can actually see them uh, shooting a little bit. Let me stop up here. I'm a little worried about getting shot. Uh, I'm going to try and snipe some of them. Looks like almost none of them have uh, any sort of ranged weapon, so not the smartest idea, guys. God damn it. I really need to upgrade this pistol, though. This is not a very good pistol. All right. You better hit one of them right now. Look at this. There. None? No, are you fucking kidding? Okay. We're going to have to run away. They are getting close to me. They're, 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 all, they're, they're just beelining it to me. Bam, motherfucker! There you go. Don't fuck with Doctor Phil, motherfuckers. That's why. Run, run away. Okay, hold on. Let me let me switch weapons. Stop reloading. I don't know why he has to reload before I can switch a fucking weapon. All right, there we go. And we have the sword. Not a nice little swipe. Are you guys seriously running away? You you all are perfectly fine. You freaking wimps. 
Typical looters. What can I say? All right, here you go, buddy. There you go. Just end it. Just end it. Trample them. You guys aren't going to get away. Oh, fuck. They're totally going to get away, aren't they? This guy won't, though. There we go. Got that guy. And God damn it, they got away. And that means we don't get their loot, I don't think. But I don't think we lost any of our units. As you can see, we're doing pretty good. We got a decent little uh, makeshift army here of misfits more, more than anything else. Let's see what we got this time. Uh, looks like we got one captured enemy. I'm going to... Uh, uh, can I talk to him? No, I, I, I can capture him though. Maybe, maybe I can sell him later. So yeah, I'm gonna capture him. He is one of our prisoners. We can hold 10 prisoners, so we're done that. Let's go to the loot. Looks like very similar to last time, a bunch of shitty stuff. Alright, but that pretty much filled up my inventory, so if this keeps happening like this, I'm totally fine with that. We might not earn too much money. How much did we get that at that time? 48 thaler. We're doing pretty good, though. It looks like we did lose one guy. I believe we were at 16. Uh, we also got this prisoner. I wonder if I can make him join my team somehow. Uh, where would that be, though? Party, maybe? And then looter, yeah. So let's talk to this guy. Uh, don't even try to run from me. And what do you want? Never mind. Okay, well, that, that, that was a very good talk, Dr. Phil. All right, here to sell my wares at Uzum Fortress. Uh, approach goes, hit the Hildegard, request entry into the fortress. Uh, thankfully, I'm a very peaceful guy so far, so I don't have anyone hating on me or trying to uh, catch me. So uh, let's go to the marketplace, and once again, we'll do the arms first. You get the idea. I'm pretty sure you understand how this works now. Alright, done selling. Once again, visit the tavern. We got one guy in here. We got a mercenary light cavalry. Alright, that's good. I do like light. God damn, I keep, try I keep trying to kick people when I try and talk to them. Uh, but I can only hire three of you. Here's 264? Eight? Holy shit! That's a lot of money. No, I, that, that, that's too much money for me. Honestly, uh, you're, you're probably a very good warrior, but it's not going to be worth the money. Let's go talk to the mayor, though. We haven't done that yet. Hello, stranger. You seem to be new to the Idzum Fortress. I am the mayor of the town. Uh, do you happen to have a job for me? You're looking for a job? Actually, I was looking for someone to escort a caravan. Would something like that suit you? Yes! Uh, I am planning to send carts of goods to Cherningov. However, with all those bandits and deserters on the roads, I don't want to send them without an escort. If you can get these carts to Chernigov before 15 days have passed, you will earn $106. That does not sound worth it. 15 days of work for $106? I'd rather just kill bandits! Of course, your party must be at least 8 strong if you hope to offer them any protection. Alright, let's take the job just to try it out, see how it works. Maybe we can kill some bandits along the way. I'm counting on you. Good luck. Alright, um, yeah, let's leave and I guess go... How do I do it? Do I just leave and wait for them or something? Alright, I'm just gonna leave and wait for them. So there should be... Somewhere around here, there should be a caravan. Oh, yep, there it is, I think. Yeah, the merchant caravan. So I, 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 I guess I just follow them. Alright, guys, I'm just gonna let you lead. Or are you letting me lead? Okay, I think, yeah, they're, they're just going. Oh, no, they actually are following me, I think. Um... Yeah, I don't, I, I don't even remember where to go, so let's go check my quest. To Chernigov. Okay, where the fuck is Chernigov? Chernigov, Chernigov. Uh, I, I wish I could, like, search this. Is, is there an actual map or something? No, there isn't. I, I can go way out here, though, and look for Chernigov. There's Cherkassi. There it is, so I guess I'll just click it, and then we will... Oh, it actually zooms over to me. That's really convenient. And we will uh, join them... And hopefully they won't get hit by anything. Wait, are, they're, they're, they're a little slower than me, so I'm just going to wait for them. I, it's somewhere over here. Okay, here we are at Chernigov. Now, will the quest just complete when they reach it here? Or do I have to actually go back? Because I forget where the fuck I was, too. Uh, so there you go. Get in there, buddy. Now, oh, is he actually... Okay, he's just kind of wandering around. Oh, I have, to, I have to go in, and I'm assuming it's going to join me. So they got here, but I don't actually know how to uh, get my money. Oh, this is a different tavern. All right, so let's just check this out really quickly. Uh, we will figure out how to get my money, though. Mercenary Light Cavalry. Uh, yeah, kind of. Who's this guy? Back. All right, back. I'll talk to you. How you doing, buddy? Is I uh, don't know what you're talking about, but you look like you look like a let's just say African American Doctor Phil. So I appreciate that. Uh, what did you say? Ah, oh, I beg your pardon, Izamenzens means, do you still live? It's sort of a greeting, like, how do you do, do, do you still live? Do you have zombies in your part of the, the neck of the woods, you know? Or, I don't know why you're asking that. I am back! For 15 years, I was aide to Khan's executioner in Bak 
Shisari. Oh my god, these fucking words, man. The work was busy, but I did not mind it until the new con installed a new visor. That is... The old visor was retired. I cried as I strangled him with a silk thread. Jesus Christ, back. The new visor was a miser, quite like your everyday Istanbul shroff. He decided that the executioner needs no assistance, so I was put out of pl the palace the very same day. Now I make my bread as I can. Working as an assistant in the butcher's row at the markets, chopping up carcasses at the slaughterhouse. I even went as low as to accepting a job killing a pig at the Cos Cossack homestead for 10 thaler. Shat and damn that beast cursed by the Allah. Well, I do need to find swordsmen to join my party. Yeah, you seem like you've seen blood in your days, so you know what? If you're cheap, I think I will do it. Uh, timely food is the best way to secure loyalty, and I will try to keep away from all these women. Ungodly creatures, are they? Wow, okay. Well, uh, do your job and worry not about your meals. Uh, 300 thaler to pay for a new handle? What? I have worked for a full month at the local slaughterhouse, and the axe is being worn out. Okay, you know what? I trust you back. Or ba- Bok? Bok? I- you know, it, it, it's probably Bok. I can't say your name, but I- but I respect you, buddy, so you are going to join us. That cost me a small fortune. Actually, it cost me almost all my money, I think. Yeah, I got 46 dollars. So you better be fucking worth it. You better be a- a crazed maniac with that axe, man. You seem like one. Okay, well, this merchant party is actually still following me, and I do remember it's the Ism Fortress, I believe? Uh, why is it green, though? Because they are blue, but yes, this is where we're supposed to go, so I'm going to bring them back here, and hopefully... Ooh, there's a lot of red guys here. I, I, I don't know if red's a bad thing, but, uh, I just want to make sure these guys are okay. I'm assuming they did what they wanted to do, they did their merchanting, so now we just gotta go back to the Ism Fortress, which I think is this one right here, and, uh, hopefully complete this quest. Oh, shit, someone burnt down coral! Oh, uh, I'm, I'm assuming... Okay, yeah, red is uh, definitely running away from green, so I think these guys are at war. But yeah, someone burnt down this uh, poor little village, so uh, glad it wasn't me. I'm, I'm still rather rather peaceful. I'm, I'm helping a little merchant right now, of all things. Alright, back at the Ism Fortress. Here we go. Approach gates, hail the guard. Quest entry, uh, let's talk to the town mayor. Good day, Dr. Phil. I'd like to talk about a trade, about the job you gave me. What do you want? Uh, what if I can't finish? Well, I'm st No, I finished it! Please don't tell me I, I did something wrong. Uh, what if I can't finish it? Well, did you rest to finish it? Uh, uh, what? So I didn't do it? What, what do you want me to do? Uh, okay. Well, I guess maybe we should go back there later on, but I think... I think we're gonna end this one here, guys. Uh, we have been playing for a little while now. Uh, maybe I gotta wait for them to get inside. So get inside the fucking fortress, maybe. I don't, I don't know. Uh, now that they're inside, if I talk to them, maybe. I don't know. About the job. You, nope, still can't do anything about it. Okay, well, fuck you then. I Clearly, it's not worth the effort. Honestly, I'd rather just ransack things. But yeah, guys, we're going to end this episode of Mountain Blade with Fire and Sword here. If you did enjoy this, please hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below uh, so I do know that you guys are enjoying a little bit of an older game. And yeah, next time uh, we'll probably get deeper into this, recruiting some more people, maybe going a little bit rebellious uh, if you guys do want to see that. So yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.